Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have another very interesting presentation from Major Darshan Abekong. He's going to talk to us about job satisfaction and organizational commitment of soldiers of Sri Lanka. This is a very pertinent topic, a hot debate. Many people criticize us on certain aspects of the military personnel being used for many things. So he's going to talk to us about job satisfaction, and he's, all, he's the assistant adjutant of the KDU, and he is a graduate from the KDU as well, and he has completed his master's degree from University of Kalania. So over to you, Darshana. Respected Chair, Admiral Jainath Kolambage, sir, thank you very much for your kind introduction. Deputy <coughs> Vice Chancellor, distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Military always demand its members to be strongly attached to their military service to acquire professionalism as a soldier. This attachment is normally an end result of job satisfaction and organizational commitment. With next 10 minutes or so, I will be presenting the findings of my research on job satisfaction and organizational commitment of soldiers in Sri Lanka Army. In order to understand job satisfaction, it is important to know about job dissatisfaction which cause numerous negative factors like frustration, aggression, psychological withdrawal, poor physical health and shortened lifespan. Further, job dissatisfaction will lead to higher turnover increased absenteeism, loss of grievances, and decreased performance. On the other hand, employees who are committed to their organizations will bring higher level of productivity, increase innovations, and retain valuable talents. With that, the aim of this presentation is to brief the research conducted of job satisfaction and organizational commitment of soldiers in Sri Lanka Army. Sequence of the presentation as shown on the screen. Recession, low level of performance are prevailing Sri Lanka Army though the war is over. This is because of job characteristics, organizational characteristics and worker characteristics within the Sri Lanka Army and its personnel. In this context, problem for this study is to identify what are the factors for the satisfaction and organizational commitment and how they affect the soldiers of Sri Lanka Army. Objective of the research are to investigate job characteristics, organizational characteristics, and worker characteristics to identify the levels of job satisfaction and organizational commitment, to identify the difference between the factors of job satisfaction and the factors of organizational commitment. Survey research was used for this study and questionnaire was based on record style. 320 participants were used randomly for this research as shown on the screen. Composition of the questionnaire used for this research as shown on the screen on workers' characteristics, job characteristics, and organizational characteristics. Under each of these variables, following dimension were assessed. Role conflict, role ambiguity, skill variety, task identities were assessed under job characteristics. <coughs> Dimensions such as work group size, organization age, work group age, leadership and residential service were assessed under organizational characteristics. 
dimensions such as tenure, years of experience, age, gender, education, and salary were assessed under worker characteristics. Hypothesis of this research is job characteristics, organization characteristics, and worker characteristics are the factors that have created job satisfaction and or organizational commitment among the soldiers of Sri Lanka Army. Data were analyzed under major two topics on job satisfaction and organizational commitment. Following are the results of the data analysis. Seven statement of the questionnaire based on role conflicts. In that, 65% of the valid respond responses indicated the military personnel do not experience high level of role conflict. Six statement in the questionnaire have said to measure role ambiguity. According to the analysis of the answers, found that military personnel do not experience high level of role ambiguity. Eight statement in the questionnaire were said to measure role variety. This indicates that requirement of variety of skills at the Sri Lanka Army is prevailing at reasonable level. According to the nature of the duties involved in military, in most occasions the soldiers who were started will not be able to complete entire, entire job. This situation clearly indicates the requirement of task identity. Four statements were introduced in the question here to measure the task significance. Great task significance is found among military personnel in Sri Lanka Army. According to the above analysis, it is very clear that military personnel who responded were highly committed to the Sri Lanka Army. With that, findings of the research, following recommendations were made. Uplift of satisfaction variable and the effective commitment variable by encouraging pay, promotion, supervision, fringe benefits, contingent rewards, and relationship with co-workers. It is also suggested to introduce modern technology driven environment for better job performance and create more attractive military related professional learning environment. Also develop leadership qualities for everybody who will play a role of a leader at any level. Further, it is recommended to introduce training programs for every soldier, grades to improve management skills, ultimately making military a more scientific career choice for beginners will eventually increase the retention of the new recruits. The study reveals a positive relationship is existing between job satisfaction and organizational commitment and job characteristics, organizational characteristics, and worker characteristics. Therefore, the hypothesis of job characteristics, organizational characteristics, and worker characteristics are the factors that have created job satisfaction or organizational commitment about among the military personnel of Sri Lanka Army. Thank you, Major Darshan Abhikung, for that uh, 